Welcome back to the channel, Glam Squad. It's Monday. I hope you're having a happy one. My name is Gigi. You're looking fantastic today, as always. We're going to paint some nails black and white today. I'm going to do two black and two white, and I'm just getting ready to start that right now. Here we go. I'm using the Model Ones Cream Gel, because honestly, I have not been over to the nail supply shop. I really need to pick up some black and white polish. I've not done that, but these uh, work really well for this as well. Really well for this as well. That was funny. <laughs> they are a good, they're a good way to do it if you're out of polish, and honestly, Sometimes I think they even look better. So you let me know what you think. While we're polishing these nails, I want to invite you to join me in letting go of all your resistance this year. That's my big thing this year. I am doing everything in my power to let go of all the resistance that I have. Maybe you don't have any. If you don't have any, oh, I envy you so much. I have so much resistance. And of course, that's a learned behavior. That's a learned state of being. Guys, this is a uh, transfer foil gel. And so what I've been doing is little rituals and little spells, if you will, uh, to help me release resistance. Um, doing some meditation, some chakra work. Uh, last night I did a little fire ritual. Um, it's something that I've been doing on my own even before I got the little spell books that I showed in a video. I don't even remember which one. Um, also, I think I did it in a short. I've shared it a lot of places. I bought a couple of little books that are just like homey um, nature spells, right? Nothing crazy. We're not doing voodoo over here. If you do voodoo, well, nothing but love to you. Just, just let's let's keep everything positive, okay? Um, that's, that's all I'm gonna say on that. Uh, so we're. I'm just making sure these layers are not too thick. I'm pulling a little extra off because this will wrinkle. And something else I learned about this when I put it on blue is that it's a little more yellow than I thought it was. So if you guys know of a more crystal clear transfer foil gel that works really well, let me know. Uh, and iMethod Beauty, if you're watching, uh, could we make this less yellow, please? Because I really like your product, less yellow. Um, so now I'm just lining it up. This is a sheet of holographic Snowflakes. Wow. Word would not come to me. Snowflakes. I had to look up at my calendar to see what I had written there. Snowflakes. I almost said starflakes. I swear to God. That, <laughs> that would have been hilarious. So I'm just rubbing it on, making sure it's all the way you want it. Everything's stuck. You can see there part of it. If it doesn't release cleanly, just lay it back down before you pull it all the way off and rub it down doing that on the other black nail as well. That's why we needed a black surface because this is a black um, transfer foil. And so having the black behind it, if some of the black doesn't come off or in the case of this one is kind of spotty, you've got the black background. And look at those holographic snowflakes. Time to mix some magic. So what we're gonna do, I don't, like I said, I don't have the polish and I need it for this. So I'm gonna take a little bit of uh, top coat. I believe this was the seven star. Uh, I'm, not po I'm not positive, I think it was the seven star. Um, I will try to pay attention to the lid when I'm looking because I wanna put it in the bottom for you guys. So I'm just mixing some of this uh, solid cream gel because the solid cream gel doesn't always marble the way you want it to. It's too thick for that, to my mind. If you know a, a technique, shoot a link my way because you know I want to see it. You know I do, you know. So now I'm also taking some of this uh, top coat and I'm putting a little glitter in it. Ooh, and there's the magic. Look at, look at that. I love how pretty it looks when it's spreading through the top coat. And we're gonna just mix that up to make our own glitter polish. Look at that, so pretty, super easy. Uh, you can add more if you're gonna actually use it like polish, but what we're gonna do, add more glitter, I mean. What we're gonna do is use it as a marble with the white and the, and the black, and that just brings all of the colors from the rest of the nails into the marble which is all we're really trying to do. Bring it all together. 
bring it on home, if you will. And now with my ombre brush, I'm gonna go ahead and put down some top coat. And actually that might've been, that was a white lid. So that's actually the uh, Jelixer, Jelixer. So now with the ombre brush, back to what I was saying, we're just gonna pick that up and marble it down. Just lay it down in a, in a pretty marbled, gorgeous way. Make a little pattern. And honestly, I, I mixed up almost the perfect amount of polish. And then we're gonna pop that bad boy in the lamp. Don't skimp on the cures, guys. You wanna make sure these things are fully cured. No flash curing in this particular set at all. All the cures are full cures. So now on this one, we're coming in and that is the gel licks or top coat. So that's what we've been using the whole time, as far as I can remember. And I'm gonna come in and do a quick top coat on this. And then it's time to come back in with that beautiful, beautiful glitter. Of course, we're gonna sugar one because I'm sorry, is there anything more pretty than a full glitter nail? Now you could encapsulate this. If you were doing this as an actual set and you don't like sugared or you don't like it in your hair, encapsulate that. Now on the other white nail, or this other white nail, cause there's three, um, I'm gonna go ahead and come in with black snowflakes, which is a little juxtaposition and I like that. I like doing things that are a little irreverent, a little different, a little unexpected, if you will. Now I am top coating that completely to make sure I don't mess it up when I do this next step, which is coming in and making a little chevron French. And all I did was put down a little bit of top coat. We're gonna sugar it the same way we did the other nail. And I'm just making sure my chevron is nice and clean. And honestly, looking back, I think I could have done, I, I could have spent a couple more seconds. Just a couple more seconds. But isn't that always the way, no matter what kind of art you're working on, it's like, mm, do you ever feel finished, do you? Do you ever feel perfect? No, I don't. Do you? Oh, if you do, again, I envy you so much. How did you learn to do that? Or is it just natural? Ah, oh, let me know, let me know. Guys, we are getting close to the end of this video. If you are still indeed here, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hit me with a rock star. Okay, let me know you're here. I wanna know who my rock stars are. Now we're just finishing up with a last cure. We are gonna go ahead and top coat. We've only got two to cut, <clears throat> three to top coat, not two, three to top coat. And that's these two, the two black ones and the marble, of course. Look how pretty. Oh, I love that holographic shine. Oh, that's so gorgeous. After the final cure, this is the set. Guys, let me know what you thought of these in the comment section below. Really do appreciate you guys. You are the bomb. <sighs> let me know what you'd like to see. I've still got two slots open for, for this, this month. And so I'd like to know what you guys would like to see. There's a couple reveal shots coming up. We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.